Okay, we'll start with the first project on our list, which is 115 Glen Road public hearing project. Does anybody have any comments on that one? My only comment on, on this one is um, that those patio doors that face the front elevation would uh, be nice with grills in them because there's grills in the rest of the window. And then there's also a window in that same room on the side elevation that has grills. So, uh, but other than that, I, I, you know, I think that was very well done. Mm -hmm. That's a good, yeah. good comment. I, I, I know comments. Yeah, the only comment I had was it, I think there was a mention on here about typical siding. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just assume that's going to match existing. Yeah, so. we could clarify that too. And I would assume the trim yeah. matches, yeah. the trim match around the windows matches the existing as well. So, yeah. Other than that, that's all I have. Okay, I'm bringing those up. I just remind everyone, make sure you have your green light on your microphone and make sure you're speaking into your microphone so that anyone who's online can hear you. Mark, we were looking at that first project. Give me comments on that first one. Uh, one room. Yep. I didn't. Okay, great. So just a couple of things to clarify with applicant on that one. Uh, next project is 35 Mason. I would just be interested in some more materials information, like what the proposed siding is and such. And uh, we had seen this one before in information session, and I think they they did a nice job uh, picking everything up. Uh, just a couple of items, if they would add that note about the existing brackets at the cutaway bay to remain, and then also enclosing that area under the new rear porch. Um, but yeah, just the, those items. On the deck, underneath the deck? Yeah. 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 Well, it's actually, there's, I think that's supposed to be a foundation under there, if I'm recalling mm. right. And I was just thinking about under that, that little landing yeah. in the back and then, um, you know, maybe the sides of the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. The, the last time, sorry, the last time we met, they talked about doing investigative work on what was underneath the existing siding. And I, and I couldn't see any evidence of the new cladding if that was done or not like you know mm -hmm. like I, I doubt the original window trims were a consistent three and a half one by around the entire window if there's a actual sill or a crown or or something or pediment of some th some sort it'd be nice if something could be seen when it's un uncovered and they can try to go that direction yeah um also the existing windows i couldn't tell if they were real 12 over 12 divided lights or not um, I yeah, it seems like the window style might be changing. Yeah, I think the windows are changing, but um, we can verify with the applicant. I think those existing windows are not original. Okay. As I, you know, that's my recollection anyway. We'll have to double so, check. So it's hard to recommend to go yeah. back the twelve by twelve yeah. or yeah. Okay. The only comment I had was on the north, I guess here the west elevation where they call out for a custom iron railing. I didn't see a lot of detail on that or just what's going on there. So uh, we can see some more information on that if we can get it from the applicant when they come in. Mm -hmm. And a tiny detail, it looks like the uh, new stoop wants to be a flush level with the door door uh, threshold, but that might be kind of hard to pour a, a concrete pad against. It's almost like you have the pad that's down at the the band board, the water table, and they have a, and they have one step up to the front door mm -hmm. threshold. It's kind of off off a bit. Yeah. I noticed that the chimney is shown in plans, um, but not in any ele elevation. So I wasn't sure if they were gonna top it off at the roof or if it's to remain and maybe with mist. 
graphically. The only other thing I had was uh, on the elevation where it shows, I forgot which one it is now, but there's a window that is at the stair landing. And then there's a pantry right next to that with the window and the windows kind of go up and down and kind of, mm -hmm. you know, with there's the no stairs. regular rhythm. These, to them. these guys right here, the exhibit yeah. rooms. And I was wondering if we can ask if they can align the heads of those two windows to kind of make that look more uniform. I believe those are existing, aren't they? Are they existing? So. They're yeah. existing. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's yeah. something historically about it that would oh. want to ask why that did that. <laughs> well, you know, it's um, as I recall, it it was existing. So, yeah. you know. How's it looking down there, Mark? <laughs> I just thought uh, hey, Mark. on the uh, back porch, as we mentioned. Yeah. Okay. All right, we got a few things to discuss on that one. Um, yeah, it's actually interesting that the comment about the chimney. Yes. If, if, if it's not being used down, downstairs ever and Maybe make the office on the attic much more usable if it, it would. Was yeah, taken down below the roof and then down to the floor. Yeah. You know. Yep. Uh, let's see. Okay, so eight two two Brookdale is our next one. My comment on this one is um, I drove over there and looking at the neighborhood, just about every house has the roof ridge line oriented parallel to the street. I mean, it's just very much a predominant feature of the neighborhood. And I was wondering if they had looked at any roof configurations where at least that portion of the addition that's visible of this, with the street uh, it would have that same parallel right. uh, ridge line. I think it would it would fit much better into the neighborhood. Yeah, I I totally I I agree with you. I I think I think we need to have them look at if they can look at that again. Uh, I think it looks awkward. My personal opinion on that, but uh, I I think if they can. And what bothers me is that bothers me. But in the, on the rear elevation, you've got this tremendously long gable that I think if we can do something to you know, improve that with a different roof configuration or something. I, I think that would take care of your problem mm -hmm. and it would help satisfy some of the other issues too because the older framing looks rather awkward, for yeah. lack of a better word. I, I don't know how else to say it. Yeah, the north, yeah, the north elevation. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm sure that's the best way to shed the water off of the roof. Oh, I, that's I, why they went I that way. But I mean, it, it's, yeah, it's, we get into all the yeah, cricket. It's the best and, way out, but yeah, uh, maybe a combination a good, like a, yeah. a reverse gable and then another one coming off of it that's parallel to the exactly. the yes the street. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I totally agree with that. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Do the spare pen. Okay. I'd like to see another window add into the new bedroom that would uh, face the street. I think that wall is is pretty blank, and the window that is added to the hallway seems kind of crowded. For the, um, it's this window here is it just seems very close to the um, to the other wall, and if you could move it just a little bit to the left, it would center in that hallway. Oh, oh. Surprise. <laughs> okay, right on time. Now that we've gotten our comments, we can see what was addressed. What was our new comments? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, mean, I know if, if I was, if it was my bedroom, oh. I'd want to be able to see the front. Yeah. You know, somebody pulls up to the front of the house. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. So the front elevation, yeah. Hmm. 
Because it was a new Got it. Old hat to so that draws something like you do. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Very similar to that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think this um looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is this updated? Oh, they did move the window. Yeah, what? Well, yeah, I like it. Yep, it looks like an improvement to me. How do you all feel about the revisions? I like it. Much better. Yeah. Would you feel comfortable moving this to pre-approval then, based on the drawings tonight? I am. Did, did Mark ask for a window, I think. You know, I, I wouldn't vote it against it, but if they, I would like to say if, if they want to add one that, you know. Okay. That well, we, we don't have to pre-approve. There's no. No, I, I'm fine pre-approving with okay. the, you know. Uh, oh, we can add that to our motion. With a suggestion right. that if they do choose to add a window there, that that would be. Yep. Acceptable and Okay. Can I just can I just clarify? So, yeah. are you guys moving that one to pre-approval? I think we can. Can we do that? And with a recommendation to add a window. So, um, I did already forward to them the recommend the question about the window. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to assume that this is addressing it. So, I, you know, all your comments were already sent to them, which is why this yeah. mm -hmm. came. So I'm going to assume that they are not wanting to put a window in or else they would have put it in. I see. It. Okay. So that's fine. Want, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. So if you do want to move it to a pre-approval. Yes. As this, it would be, yeah, what we're seeing. It would be what yeah. we're, you're seeing. Okay. Mark, would you want to, do you want to discuss it? No, that's fine. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't vote against it. And if it yeah. if already considered it and decided not to, then that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So we'll move that to pre-approval. Um, and then the next one is also pre-approved, 1102 Pine Tree. The next one, 408 Lark Hill is also pre-approved. 462 Forest in Place is also pre-approved. Um, and when we make our motions, we'll, we'll state any kind of clarification noted in our updated agenda we got tonight. So then that brings us to 451 West Swan, the deck off the rear of the house. I had um I commented that I couldn't since it wasn't a ground plane on the elevations, it was hard to see if it was elevated or if it was flush to the ground, et cetera. Yep. Some comment. Mm -hmm. I had that same comment. Um, and I was also wondering what the new roof material is. And that uh, new roof seems very close to the windowsill above. So I would recommend lowering that. Um, also wondering exactly where the downspout is going to be located. And there's a drop beam that's shown um, in the detail that doesn't uh, appear on the rear elevation. And then also the existing newel railing and baluster style appear to match the front porch. And it's such a handsome house. Um, I'd like to discuss um, replicating that, yeah, because it is it is a beautiful house, and it'd be great to retain that character. Mm -hmm. yep. And then also just as a suggestion, if they wanted to enclose the area below the new landing and stair, that would look nice. Mm -hmm. I think adding to that character, maybe adding a post base and capital would, would help instead of just a plain column. I agree. Yeah. So I'm assuming they're demoing the existing porch. Mm -hmm. that, okay. That's what I was assuming yeah. too. Mm -hmm. 
Any other comments? Nope. All I had was what repeated. Yep. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can discuss that one. And then the last one on our regular agenda is 11 Renwood Court. So this work has been done without approval. All right. I was okay with it. It would have been very helpful to have just take a magic marker and label the <laughs> photographs so you could kind of tell um, what was being represented. It took a while to kind of fish through all that and figure it out. So some clarification would have been nice, but I think I understand what they're doing and it's fine. Yeah, I agree. I, I think a little bit of clarification on, on that information would have been helpful. Uh, and then having to go through the material list to see what they're doing, how they're doing it, and whatever. It's kind of like we're doing everything in the reverse order. You know, instead of design build, it's build design. <laughs> yeah, it seems like all the grids have been lost. I mean, that did add some character to the home, but at least they're, I guess at least they're consistent with the windows that have been updated. So do we have um, items to discuss with the applicant on this one? No. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think my only comment I submitted was just that it kind of lost some character, but to have them add grids at this point is probably. I think there's grids in that low yeah. dash portion that helps. Yeah, that was the only thing I noticed too was they had grids in that lower section of the bay window, but not in the top. Right. So I don't know. And the windows next to them do have them. Yeah. have to buy lights. So maybe they just weren't installed yet. So. Okay. Well, based on our cop, I mean, what we've talked about, it sounds like this one could maybe even move to a pre-approval as well. I would be okay with that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. We can yeah. move that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all the uh, projects on our normal agenda. Should we talk about the, or should we close this work session? Um, you can definitely talk about the item briefly that's on okay. the not officially on the agenda. And then I just want to make sure I'm clear. So we've got pre-approvals is 822 Brookdale Drive, yep. 1102 Pine Tree Lane, 408 Lark Hill Court, 462 Forest in Place, and 11 Renwood Court. So all of those are going to be pre-approved at 530. Yeah, so we'll only have one regular submittal to discuss. Yep, two historic, one regular session, and then we'll yep. go to the informational. Yep. Okay, thanks. How's it going? No, there's, <laughs> there's... <laughs> that's good. Um, we were just trying to decide if we should turn off the sound for now. Or yeah. We, we're, you're done with your work session? Yep. This, okay. Yeah, completes our work session. We'll be back with everyone at 530 for the regular meeting time.
Unmuted. Good evening. Welcome to the Webster Groves Architectural Review Board hearing. Um, I'd like to introduce everyone before you this evening. We've got Yolanda Wilkins, Jim Bailey, and Mara Perry with the city. And we've got Carol, myself, Tracy Collins, David, Chuck, and Mark. We're all volunteer architects and landscape architects on the board. Um, we're going to start tonight with reviewing meeting minutes from our previous hearing on February 15th. Did anybody have any comments on those minutes before we approve them? All righty, hearing none, then we can uh, get a motion to approve those minutes. I make a motion to approve the meeting minutes from February 15th as written. Or submitted. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll stand down. I wasn't here. Yes. Okay. And now I say aye. So those will be approved as written. Okay, next we're going to go through um, our agenda this tonight. We've got several projects that are pre approved, and how those work is the board members have all reviewed these projects and submitted our comments independently to the city. And if there were minor comments or no comments, those projects can move through. Um, so we'll just go through the list and, and pre-approve these projects. The first one is 822 Brookdale Drive. I could get a motion for that one. I'll make a motion to approve 822 Brookdale Drive based on the revised drawings submitted this evening. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 822 Brookdale Drive is approved. Sorry, I'm being slow. Yeah. Yeah. Can you say who uh, did the motion and then who seconded it? I did the motion, Carol. Carol. Yeah, I second. Thank you. I'll try to keep up. No, I'm going quickly. <laughs> okay, our next pre approval is 1102 Pine Tree Lane for a rear one story addition. I can get a motion on that project. Uh, make a motion to approve uh, 1102 Pine Tree Lane as submitted. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 1102 Pine Tree Lane is approved. Our next project is 408 Lark Hill Court for a second story addition. Make a, make a motion to approve uh, 408 Lark Hill Court as submitted. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 408 Lark Hill is approved. Um, two more pre-approvals. We've got 4624 four in place. Um, this has a clarification in the motion that we'll want to include for the second story rear addition project. I move that the project be approved. And we want to include that um, on our agenda that it's per the updated elevation that we received after it was submitted. Yeah. That was one on your that was one on the table. Yep. Yeah. We want to let's just yeah let, we could restate the motion that way it's clear. Uh, I move that the uh, project be approved based on the resubmitted elevation information. Yeah. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four six two four in place is approved. All right, our last pre-approval project is eleven Renwood Court for some windows and door changes. I make a motion to approve 11 Renwood Court as submitted. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Unanimous vote and that's pre-approved or that's pre that is approved as well. <laughs> okay, our next section of the meeting um our public hearing projects. These projects are within historic districts and open to public comment. Um, the first project, and now that we're discussing these projects, we'll have you come up to the podium or raise your Zoom hand and discuss your role on the project, and then we'll just um, review the work together. The first one is 115 Glen Road for a second floor addition over a new open porch. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm Katie Neeson Cook. Um, I work for Jim Bolesky Architects. So. And I do believe, yep, he is online, my client, aka my father. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Hi, Chuck. <laughs> um, let's see. So there were a few few clarification comments that we had, board members have had. I think that you guys did a great job blending that in. I think it looks really nice. Um, my comment would be to add grills to that new patio door that faces the, the front elevation because all the other windows have grills. And then there's also in that same room, a window with grills on the side elevation. So their preference is to not add the grills. Um, and our general feeling is that because we're 250 feet from the street and that particular door will be in full shadow that we don't necessarily need them. But also when you're standing in that room, the only visible windows are the ones on the rear elevation that have no grills. Okay. Um, so our preference would be not to. But. Okay. You know, when I looked at that, I thought, you know, that's going to be pretty far back because of the overhang. Mm -hmm. And then also I drove by there and I'm like, you, you have can't. to really <laughs> look. I have to I really mean, try to eat really the house try hard. <laughs> so um, thank you for that explanation. I'd be I'd be fine with the way it is. Mm -hmm. Chuck, I think you had some comments during our work session. Yeah, um, I'd like to see, uh, you know, what what you uh, want to do. There's a note there that talked about typical lap siding. Mm -hmm. Is that to match existing yeah. or? It'll be a six inch exposure to match the existing lap siding. Okay. Okay. And then there's the trim around the windows and all that. That's going to match, match the existing yep. windows as well. Okay. Right. I think the only other comment that I saw in the email was about the railing for the stair coming off the deck, which the yeah. plan is to have those be aluminum balusters to match the fence that goes across the deck okay. in that location. Okay. Okay, thank you. I, I don't comment. Okay. Um, so it sounds like the only, um, well, yeah, well, I think the only comment we will have is just clarifying the railing, but everything else is per the drawing. Um, but since it's a public hearing, we will now open this up to public comment. If anyone has any comments on 115 Glen Road. Seeing none, we'll move it back to the board here for a motion. And that motion would just include that the, um, aluminum that we would have aluminum balusters at the railing. I think everything else that we talked about is on the drawings. I'll make a motion to approve 115 Glen Road with the clarification that the balusters will be aluminum to match the adjacent fence. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So that's unanimous and you're approved. <laughs> Thank you. All right, our next project on the agenda is 35 Mason Avenue. This is also a public hearing project. Hello. Welcome. It needs to be green, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Red doesn't work. Catherine Duckworth, um, I'm the architect with Hercules Design Build. Welcome. Thank you. Um, we had several comments during our work session. I don't know if you've- I didn't uh, you make wanted... it to the work session and I'm sorry about that. Yeah. But I'm here okay. now, we so can walk through. <laughs> let's yep. talk it out. Uh, let's see. Anybody feel free to jump in. Um, last time we met um, here, uh, you talked about doing some investigative work under the, under the siding and seeing what you found or didn't find. Um, I saw some on the photographs. I saw some things kind of torn away and pulled up. Yes. Um, anything about the existing windows? Um, if you could see like original sills or trims or there, there, the, there are three and a half inch jams, um, head. It doesn't, it's a, a buck connection and there's no, the head does not extend beyond the jam okay. and then there's a plain sill. 
Okay. Okay. Yes. And then, and then, and then, are you replacing the siding? Yes, we are replacing the siding. Putting new, putting new siding over the existing siding, or taking all we're the actually siding. Actually, going to be able to take it all off. Down to stud. Down. No, we we'll get down to sheathing. Not sheathing. Okay. Leave the okay. sheathing up and go back with new. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. But it matches the style of the existing. It does. Okay. The the existing exposure is in the neighborhood of four inches. You know how when you measure it, it's sort of a little bit different everywhere. Yeah. But um, yes. So that's why we're going suggesting going back with a four inch exposure. Like a what material? Like a vinyl or a hydro? It is vinyl. And then and then I know and we know that that existing front door trim is all kinds of a haywire. It is assembly. <laughs> Do you, do you find anything underneath there as far as an old porch or, or? no okay. we haven't found any evidence of a, of a porch okay. that was there before um not yet not with what we've been able to pull off okay the uh aluminum is on there surprisingly well pretty well <laughs> <laughs> unlike that back gutter <laughs> uh, yes exactly yeah, except for the one that's falling off on the back yeah that's yeah left a giant hole in the house <laughs> on the uh Front west elevation, you call out for a custom iron railing. Yes. And I, do you have a little more information on that? Or so we'll do a wrought iron railing. And I brought a um a slightly uh closer view. Okay. Okay. Oh great. Hmm. Oh, Thank you. Between each one, um, just a, something not overly fussy, but with a little bit of detail to bring some formality to the front door. Looks nice. A little bit of texture. And um, one one comment I had was was um, I see that the new stoop level is flush with the threshold of the front door. It, was that an important thing or because it looks like it kind of hits the sort of hits the uh, bottom uh, water table or whatever band board at a weird intersection honestly what the position of things that are there and i'm it makes me question what we have drawn just a little not <laughs> not that we don't know what we're doing but we're um we're trying chief architect and we're fighting with that software yeah, yeah no i understand <laughs> um, so the, I would have to look at a picture um, and I could pull one up on my phone to tell you exactly. The idea though, is that the existing concrete stoop, which appears to be still intact underneath the layer of hideous brick, right, right. Um, we're gonna peel that back and leave it. So the relationship of the front door to the stoop will go back to where it was originally. Okay. Um, so does that answer your question? Yeah, 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 probably yeah, will yeah. Be a snap. Okay. yeah cause usually, usually, the, usually you have there's like a there up, step. steps up to a stoop and then there's you have a stoop and then there's a step right at the front door. Right, right. And that's sort of become flush because of the brick that's been oh, got put it. on top. Got it. Okay. Cool. Let me write that down now. The uh the railing at the rear deck is that's not going to be the same wrought iron then, right? It's not. Okay. And um as it turns out, we're uh likely going to end up screening this porch. And I brought a brochure for the system that we're considering. Um, if you'd like to see it, it's a, um, it's actually surprisingly nice. <laughs> um, it is this screen system and the rail system are part of the same components. Mm -hmm. um, and the front edge of the frame and the rail is a spline. And so then the the screen goes on and then there's another cap that goes on top of it and it's incredibly clean and um, uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. I think it'll let the columns of our porch stand in primary and this one just not be a So that would go basically um, oh, oh, oh. where the uh, rear porch extends, projects away from the, okay. Yeah. So that's I brought it. So we would have a door then. Yeah. It'll have a door. Yeah. Going to in the screen. So that, you know. Were you planning to include that in the project for sure? Or is that uh like something you're considering or I feel like we're at ninety five percent. And then under the um uh, the steps in the back, 
we typically like to see, you know, lattice or something like that, that kind of masks the, okay. the foundation and you know, those, those peers. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's the only reason I think we hadn't drawn it is it's just such a small little guy, yeah. but you think it's still important. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do. I mean, and it, it, it's, it's nice aesthetically, but it also prevents like leaves and raccoons and other things from collecting under theirs. Right. Right. A collection of raccoons. Yeah. I just had a couple of little um, housekeeping items like we had discussed previously, like including a note that those existing brackets at the cutaway bay. Can you will believe be... that we left that off the drawing? I'm really sorry. That, that's okay. You know what? Um, they're staying. I, I understand it. <laughs> I know they're staying, but you know, I just yes, see my, my comfort they, level yeah. if that would Red be lines noted. Went on the drawings as yeah. soon as I got that email and if they've already been picked up. I'm sorry about yeah. that. That's okay. No problem. <laughs> I think okay. that. Um, oh, okay. oh okay. those are cool. Um, yeah, all, all of my comments are, are being addressed. Um, oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. One thing, one thing I had that I, I know that the current windows are not original and they have the, the uh, divided light look. They're GBGs, yeah. Um, right, right, right. Um, would you would you want to entertain any sort of divided light? Just so there or... are a few existing windows in the house and they don't have um, divided lights. Okay. Okay. So just because that's just yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Is the chimney remaining? It is. Okay, above the roof. Yes. It's okay. It is absolutely remaining. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it come up through the plan and then not on, on the no, roof. That's so. another red line we picked up today. Yep. <laughs> I think that might capture all of our comments. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we've discussed everything. So at this time, we'll open up to public comment. If, any would like, if anyone would like to speak on behalf of 35 Mason Avenue. Seeing none, we'll bring it back to the board here for a motion. Um, there's several items that we'll want to clarify in that motion. Um, I'll make a motion to approve 35 Mason Avenue with the following understandings. The siding will be uh, replaced with new vinyl siding that will match the configuration of the original siding that's not currently exposed to view. The wrought iron railing will be on the front porch will match the submittal uh, presented this evening. The relationship between the front stoop and the front door will match the original relationship. There's a, an option to screen in the rear porch um, with the screen system presented this evening. The brackets at the cutaway bay are to remain. Uh, the area under the rear landing and step will be enclosed with uh, material compatible with the house design and the existing chimney is to remain. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. So 35 Mason Avenue is approved. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, our next uh, regular submittal on the agenda is 451 West Swan Avenue for a rear deck. Is anyone here to represent that project? But Christine's on. Hello. Uh, hopefully everyone can hear me. Yep. Yep. Great. Uh, my name is uh, CJ Moss. Uh, I work for Chesterfield Fence and Deck. Um, I'm actually the project designer or the CAD drawer, whatever you want to call the position. Um, I did the drawings for this project. Um, and I'm open to any questions or anything I need to explain for this. Great. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, we do have a few items that we want to discuss with you sure yeah thanks um 
my first comment was the the, the elevations don't show a grade plane on the ground. Um, is the deck elevated or is it on grade? Um, where's that line of the of the ground? Sure. Uh, so the existing deck, um, based on information that I have, is just a few inches off of grade. So between grade and the bottom of the joist. And the new one is either going to be in the exact same height or be adjusted to be higher. So I'd say at maximum, it could be a foot off the ground. So from the deck surface to grade. Um, but that's going to need to be field verified on site. Um, but we're not, I can say we're not going to jam it in the ground because then um, the joists and all that will rot out. So kind of, kind of no point doing that. Um, and I know there are, there's like an existing concrete step that's kind of along the perimeter of the deck. Um, and that's going to all stay. So we're going to maintain, you know, a, at least one step down or two steps down um, from that existing concrete step. So I'd, I'd say at most it'll be a foot, um, but it's not going to be like right in the ground because then we'll have to be back out and replace all the joists. Got it. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see. I, I see now in the photographs that concrete step. Um, yeah, it might be helpful to see detail of that. Sure. Of of that cut through, how you see that existing step to the driveway, and how the wood interacts with that to keep it up above, as you mentioned, above the rot point. Sure. Yeah, and I know uh, there's been a pretty substantial change of scope of work for this project. Um, so I, I know we need to resubmit plans that show what it is currently and i can revise those plans to show that step added okay and then can you just clarify there will be no railing correct yep that the the small landing that comes out of the door will have railing obviously since that's i believe it's at three feet or approximately three feet but yes that that large ground level deck does not have any railing okay and then there's another deck that's shown attached to the garage that's crossed out just want to clarify that is not part of this project correct yes and that's the uh scope of work i was talking about just a second ago so that's removed okay yeah i think i I think having that detail cut shown would then answer answer another question about is the is there a apron or a band board or, or something that closes off the elevations but it's mm. truly a step down on all on all sides with, with the two steps yeah um, yeah yep i can do that does that concrete slab is that does that exist underneath the whole deck do you know um i don't believe so um let me check i've got pictures here on my phone just so i'm not talking crazy um, I don't believe it does. I believe it's some kind of either just dirt or mulch or a garden, or actually it looks like it might, part of it might be gravel. Um, so yeah, the step is all the way around there. No, the concrete does not go underneath the deck. And I know that could change if we tear it out. You know, right. we've always discover exciting things when doing tear out. Um, but as far as I'm aware, there is no concrete underneath that lower level deck. Do you do you plan on doing anything underneath the deck to uh, treat the soil, gravel or something underneath there? Or any plans? Um, we do not normally do that. No, not unless, let's say, the homeowner or someone specifically requests us to do it, but. Uh, we do not normally do that, no. Uh, could you tell me what the new roof material is going to be? Sure. Uh, do you want to know specifically like the framing or the, the, the siding? The, like, what is it? Shingles? Is it roll roofing? What What is it? It'll be shingles. Okay. Yeah, just calling those things out on the drawings is helpful. 
Um, and then also too, it's shown very close to the windowsill of mm -hmm. the window above. And I think you're going to uh, lead yourself into some potential problems there with snow and ice backing up into mm -hmm. that window. So I would suggest that you uh, drop that to have, uh, you know, maybe plus or minus eight inches of clearance between the top of that roof and the, the sill. And then also, um, where is the downspout going to be located? Is it going to drain down one of those columns or what did you have in mind there? It should drain down one of those columns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can answer. So the shingle call out is on page two of the drawings. Um, so that's already noted there. Um, it does just say shingles to match existing. So we're going to try and find whatever material is closest to what's on the house now or on the garage even. Um, then the window, I know that may have just been a misdraw on my part. Um, I do know that we need to have a good bit of space, like you said. Um, so that may not be 100% accurate, but that will also be verified in the field to make sure we have that uh, clearance between the window and the roof. Um, okay. So that's not a problem. So a quick clarification for the members. Mm -hmm. Um, the packets that were given to them did not include all of those additional sheets because there were too many, um, there's too much information that was for the second deck that was being removed from the scope. So gotcha. they do not have that sheet too with that okay. additional information. Okay. Gotcha. Did, all right. Did, did sheet two have a detail cut through the, the main deck that we're building? I do not think so. Sheet two is just for the roof and it's a top down view. So it shows the measurements of the roof, uh, the shingle call out, like I said, and then all the framing sizes of the actual roof itself. So that does not have any cross section views or anything like you're uh, asking. It's just a top down. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mara's showing it off right now. Yeah. So okay. Yep. It, just a, I didn't put that in because I didn't have seven. And so I just, yeah. That's... Yeah. Um, I'm asking, I'm asking the detail just because I, I did a very similar one on a project in the last couple mm -hmm. of years. And because it's so close to the ground and proximity and trying to keep it from being vermin gopher proof. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause if it's, if it's high off the ground and you just have lattice, then the gophers can come and go pretty easily and that you can get, mm -hmm. you can get rid of them easily. But when they're so close to the ground, they become permanent residents quickly and you can't get rid of them very easily. <laughs> sure. Um, no, yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> I, I can attest to that. The house I, <laughs> I bought originally had uh, a former homeowner built a deck like that. And there was a family of possums living yeah. there oh. and they oh. didn't want to leave. Um, ah. So, yeah, just it's not pleasant. Just um, <laughs> <laughs> um Another couple of questions for you. Um, sure. There's a dropped beam that's shown on the roof detail that doesn't appear on the rear elevation. And I think that would um, help enhance your rear elevation and just kind of verify the visual relationship between the top of that transom and um, the roof. And then also too, um, you know, I'm looking at the existing photographs and it looks like the the newels and the balusters and the rail are, um, you know, really beautiful and suited to the house. They look like they may be original because they match the front porch. Did you all consider replicating that style rather than going with the, the contemporary kind of looking railing style and, and um, porch columns? Um, as far as I can speak, I was not aware of any considerations of keeping styles or anything like that that would be between the homeowner and our sales consultant however i can tell you that the guardrail or handrail is going to be white um so at least in one aspect of aesthetic looks it'll still kind of keep the same color scheme but it is going to be as you said i guess a more contemporary look um because it'll be an aluminum guardrail handrail style. Um, so it won't have the same, I guess, historic look or 
uh, older look like you're suggesting, but it will at least match a color. Um, so it'll kind of keep that flow in some variety. You know, it just, um, when you look at the rest of the house, all of the architecture is very substantial and, and mm. beefy looking, um, really looks solid. And to me, the way this porch is drawn, it just looks very kind of spindly and, and temporary mm. almost um, because the the elements are so slim. Um, mm. It just the visual weight of the new porch just doesn't really match the style of the house at all. So I would really strongly advise you to maybe talk with um, the homeowner about that. Um, Excuse me? Uh, um, this is the homeowner. I'm sorry, John. Oh, yes. Oh, hi. Okay. My apologies. We are having some connectivity issues. So we're raising our hand frantically trying to get attention. <laughs> oh, okay. and no avail, so our apologies. But we're happy to answer any questions. I know there's a question about concrete under the back deck. There is no concrete under there. It's all dirt. So, but uh, with regard to the style of the uh, uh, the newels and the back porch, the front porch, no, it, it doesn't exactly match. It does, um, I think, uh, what's the substrate? I think it's wood and it's, it, or maybe it's, I think it's wood, but it's the same color. The front steps are going to have to go, undergo some uh, reconstruction in the next coming years because those are falling apart and some of the wood is rotten. So uh, when we address that front porch, we'll make sure it matches the back. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm talking more in terms of proportion um, as far as like your your column width and everything on the front porch, um, you know, just and, and the newel size and style. What you have just looks much more substantial. And, and I think the way I'm seeing this when it's constructed, it's going to be just kind of visually very light and look like it's not really compatible with um, the existing style of the house. Well, so um, I can't attest to the fact that the what's there currently is not original. There's okay. a Jefferson door above that. The Jefferson door slides up into the ceiling, which is no longer functional, and it has a faux balcony, and that is detached from the house and falling apart. So that's why we're trying to address the uh, the issue up there with the some new construction. Oh, that's that I, I understand. I'm okay with the shed roof. I'm talking about down at the, at the porch area. Um, and you did you consider maybe making it a little more traditional look uh, on the rear with maybe some base and cap trim around those columns so it, it uh, doesn't really look so contemporary? Hi, this is Christine. I'm sorry, we're tag teaming here. We will absolutely work with Chesterfield on the materials. I think what we picked um, we were content with because it aligned with our fencing and in our backyard because we do have a pool fence. But there's, I do think it's a suggestion and, and we will take it under consideration and work with Chesterfield on the appropriate materials. So if, if that helped address your question. Yeah, I think that would be great because, you know, it's, it's I guess it's nice that it kind of matches the fence, but I think matching the house mm -hmm. is more important than uh, matching a landscape feature. So, you know, as you kind of, take a, another look at things and maybe refine your ideas. Uh, I would think it's important to keep the porch compatible with the style of the house and less with landscape features. Um, certainly appreciate your input there and, and we'll work with um, Chesterfield on the materials. Okay, thank you very much. And this is just a suggestion, um, you know, as you're kind of revising things um, to maybe look at enclosing the area under the new landing and the stair um, just to right. kind of have it be a um, more finished look. And then also um, it's another uh, critter uh, prevention measure. Sure. No, I respect that. We don't want any more critters that we have in our area, but we do like the suggestion we heard earlier about lattice probably enclosing down there. I think that's what you're referencing. That's what we heard. Yes. And that's what we do currently have. I don't know if that's in the picture, but yes, I think that's a great option for underneath there. Okay. Great, that sounds good. I'll have to kick out the ones that live in there now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other comments from the board? So it sounds like we've given you some suggestions and some things to kind of think about and maybe um, 
hone in these details on your drawing so that it's evident when we're looking at it that we understand kind of what's going to be built. Um, so if you're open to resubmitting, I think that might be a good option for us. We could just table this project tonight instead of voting, and then we could get a new set of drawings to review at the next meeting or whenever you're ready. Sure. And I know um, CJ from the company we're using is on. So yep. it sounds like it was primarily about the deck above the grade and, and that type of thing that needed to be addressed on the drawings. Correct. Yep. And we talked about the window and the relationship of the shed roof to the window and the window has a, a sill to it. So we'd want to keep that sill um, protected by bringing that roof down. Make sure you got your proper flashing on the roof. So. Okay. And CJ, I'm assuming you're still on in all of those comments to adjust the, the the submission makes sense to you and we can revise those. Oh yeah, that, that'll be an easy fix. Okay. Um, if we do resubmit it, do we have to wait till the April meeting then I assume? Um, Mara can speak to that. I think, yeah, I think we could accept the drawings late yeah, and get on if, the next. If we can get the drawings by noon on Tuesday, it can go on to the very next meeting in March. We will, I'll work with CJ and see if that's possible. So I'm sorry, noon <laughs> by next Tuesday, correct? Noon next Tuesday, correct. And also just as uh, a note, these meetings are recorded on YouTube. So if you wanted to review anything and make sure that you have all the comments picked up, you can you can check out the YouTube. It's real helpful. Oh, that's great. Thank you. I was just about to ask if there was going to be some like list of comments or suggestions that was sent up, but that works too. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't know if the city provides comments after the meeting or not. We typically don't spend the extra time writing everything out, um, but uh, we can try to clarify a few of the key things. Um, but usually we suggest that just people go back and watch YouTube because then you can kind of pause it and make sure you've addressed all the comments. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. That works. And the YouTube will be available in the morning. It's just City of Webster Groves YouTube. And then you just look at the first uh, ARB meeting. It'll have the date and uh, it'll say Architecture Review Board. Perfect. Thank Great. you. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, we look it. forward to seeing the revised drawings. Thank you. All right. At this point, our regular meeting is adjourned. We can move on to informational only submittal.